Lunar Park, a satirical memoir published in 2006 by Brett Easton Ellis, offers a fictionalized account of his early life and the challenges he faced following his father's death. Centered around themes of grief, loss, and memory, the book garnered a nomination for the 2006 World Fantasy Award. Ellis gained widespread recognition for his debut novel, Less Than Zero, which achieved international success while he was still a college student. Known for his portrayal of dystopian versions of real cities like New York and Los Angeles, Ellis often depicts troubled and hedonistic characters. In this semi autobiographical novel, the narrator, also named Brett Ellis, is depicted as a wealthy and vain seeking novelist, prioritizing excessive partying at upscale nightclubs over writing meaningful books. The controversies surrounding him ironically contribute to the popularity of his works, as he indulges in a lifestyle fueled by sex, drugs, and alcohol. The early chapters of the book delve into his reckless handling of fame and money. Each new book advance he receives is squandered on extravagant luxuries and drugs, leading him into a spiral of debt. Struggling to fulfill his contractual obligations, he eventually faces a complete halt in advances, ultimately leading to bankruptcy. The situation worsens when Ellis embarks on a promotional tour for his latest book, Glamorama. Despite pleas from his agent and publicist to maintain sobriety during the tour, he succumbs to a cocaine binge, missing several appearances and delivering incoherent and visibly intoxicated performances when he does show up. Teetering on the brink of ruin, Ellis concludes the tour in a state of humiliation and disgrace. Faced with the consequences of his self-destructive behavior, Ellis yearns for change. He desires to abandon the hedonistic lifestyle and focus on building a family. Throughout these early chapters, Ellis blurs the line between fact and fiction, leaving it up to the reader to discern what is true and what is fabricated. Ellis crosses paths with Jane Dennis, a renowned actress known for her high-profile relationships. They had a brief affair in the past, and this is their first meeting since then. Jane now has a daughter named Sarah from a previous relationship, and she introduces Ellis to her son Robbie. Jane claims that Robbie is actually Ellis's biological child, but he is skeptical until she insists on a DNA test that confirms his paternity. Accepting his newfound fatherhood, Ellis takes full financial responsibility for Robbie and decides to marry Jane. Initially, their life together in New York City is filled with happiness. However, following the tragic events of the 9-11 attacks, they decide to move to a tranquil suburb in an attempt to rebuild their lives. Strange occurrences start to unfold within their home, with objects moving inexplicably and disturbing noises disturbing Ellis's sleep. Convinced that these happenings are the work of his deceased father's ghost, Ellis becomes haunted by memories of his abusive and cruel father, whose presence lingers in his mind. In the creation of his fictional father, Ellis draws inspiration from his own real-life father, whom he claims was a sociopathic murderer. He even suggests that the infamous character Patrick Bateman in American Psycho was influenced by his father's personality. Once again, Ellis blurs the boundaries between fact and fiction, challenging readers to question the veracity of the events portrayed. As time passes, Jane grows increasingly concerned about Ellis's mental well being. Aware of his history of substance abuse and alcoholism, she worries that he may be imagining the supernatural occurrences in their home. Ellis remains convinced that the house is haunted by his father, while Jane contemplates leaving him if he refuses to seek professional help. Meanwhile, Ellis's career stagnates, putting the family in financial jeopardy. The situation reaches a breaking point when a series of bizarre murders shocks the suburban community. The police draw parallels between these crimes and the fictional Patrick Bateman murders depicted in American Psycho. Ellis becomes utterly convinced that his deceased father is responsible for the havoc in the neighborhood, believing that he alone possesses the ability to stop him. As the narrative unfolds, Lunar Park explores themes of identity, guilt, and the blurred boundaries between reality and imagination. The reader is left to navigate the intricate web of truth and fiction woven by Ellis, questioning what is genuine and what is a product of his troubled mind. During the ongoing investigations, Ellis finds himself in discussions with detectives and crew members associated with the American Psycho movie. They inquire if he possesses any information about the killer, but Ellis refrains from disclosing his belief that a ghost is responsible, fearing ridicule. His sole focus becomes safeguarding his house and protecting his family from the relentless haunting. As the story progresses, Ellis unveils that the inclusion of a ghost as a plot device in Lunar Park serves as his personal method of grappling with the traumatic memories of an abusive childhood and a deeply flawed father. 
Similar to the fictional Ellis in the book, the real-life Brett Ellis confronts his past and reconciles his feelings towards his father. Ultimately, both the actual and fictionalized versions of Ellis find solace and inner peace by the conclusion of the story. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.